Good morning, guys. It is early in the morning. I had oh, the weirdest dream ever, like usual. And I've got my cat, as you can see. He's right here. And I've got my doggy here. See if I can fix this better. There you go. Look, he's using uh, the left side of my bed. And he's laying his head on my pillow like a human. And then we've got Ozzy over here. Ozzy! So cute. I just love my animals. Anyways, good morning. Um, it's time to get up and start our day. And look, you can still see my nice tan line. That's freaking amazing. I'm so happy. Yay. And look who's woken up. Hi, handsome. Who's mama's handsome? Oh, good boy. Oh, Osric. Don't do that. Be nice to your brother, okay? Good morning. Hi. Hi. Your brother's just resting. He's such a beautiful boy. I love you. And Zeus is on the floor on the dog bed. What is wrong with you? Why are you so mean today? <laughs> Junior, that is not a way to wake up. I think Ozzy woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> Be nice, Ozzy. <laughs> hey, love. Oh, it's okay. okay, guys. So this is just my breakfast slash lunch. It is around 11 a.m. this morning, <clears throat> and there's just some coffee here on the side. Just eggs, nothing fancy. With some cheese in there and some black pepper. And I'm gonna continue watching. Um, the good doctor. So it's a perfect day to go for a walk. Walking Zeus with me. You know, we're just gonna enjoy the nice scenery. It's a nice walk even though he pulls like 90% of the time. So somebody had both their, their dogs off leash. <sighs> so fucking stressful. Why can't people just maintain their fucking dogs on a leash? So annoying. Alright guys, so I'm going to try and clean this aquarium. I took out my big rock here on the left side that I had because it has so much Aptasia. It is insane. And they, they have big ones too. It's got like the size of my fingers. That's how big the Aptasia is. So I had to take that out. I'm going to let it dry out in the sun for however long it'll take. We'll see. And then as you can see, there's even some little ones growing here. And there's a baby starfish, sea star, whatever you want to call it. There's my snail. It's just, it's been crazy. I accidentally dropped my rock right here, and I think it, it fell on this poor guy. I'm so sorry, but I think he's okay. Um, yeah, it's been pretty freaking insane. So I'm going to clean the glass on here because it is dirty. I feel like I'm always having to clean this tank no matter what I do. And it's starting to drive me a little bit crazy because I wish I didn't have to clean it this much. But just all the time I have to clean the glass constantly. Like look how dirty it is. If you guys have any tips on why this could be happening, please let me know. Um, I usually do have this thing open. My curtain here usually is open like, all the way so maybe some of the sun gets on there a little bit of the I don't know maybe or it's just I know that it becomes extremely dirty when I feed my corals because usually I just feed them and let it like out here and just let it go all around the tank so I think that that's what happens and it goes on the glass which is not a good idea I need to spot feed more often so I think that'll help or that'll help a lot if I do that so I'm gonna clean this out really quickly because it's just looking a very big mess. See over here, I have my core or my rock that is infected with Aptasia. There's, look, can you see down here? That has fallen. There's that Aptasia. There's the big ones, more big ones underneath. It's just completely has fallen. I left this here for now so that I can see if there's any snails or anything in here that I can quickly throw into the aquarium. But yeah, this rock is infected with Aptasia, and then I started noticing some of my other rocks here as well have some Aptasia, and this is so annoying because I just don't like Aptasia. I need to get shrimp. I don't have any more shrimp. Don't know why. I, maybe this guy has eaten them, or heck if I know what happened to him. But I gotta clean this tank 
really soon right now and yeah this thing is here just from when i was on vacation i'm back from vacation and then i just need to wipe this all clean so i will show you guys the process just in a bit. finished cleaning this as you can see right here i'm just gonna let the water clear up and i'll show you guys that after so my next step here is to clean this aquarium there's not much to clean here just the glasses a little bit of brown smudge on here and then the same with that aquarium and then this one as well so i guess today's video is just basically me cleaning and maintaining my aquariums um shirts in the way yeah just gotta do a lot of cleaning today well, at least fish aquarium cleaning okay, so this is what my 55 gallon looks like i scrubbed the glass as best as i could and i rearranged the decor in here i moved this rock or this rock this big castle on this side used to be there i moved it here this moved in the middle i don't know if i like the setup like this i might move these three pieces back to the centerpiece where they were originally and then move this to the corner there maybe i'm not sure but yeah this is just what it's looking like it's still a little bit cloudy and dirty because like i said i just finished cleaning it so you know i have to wait for it to clear up once it's clear up if i remember i can show you guys but it's getting there um yeah this is what this is looking like i've cleaned this one nice and clean i moved the thing a little bit more towards the middle and just scrubbed it so i think it's looking pretty good i did take out again a whole bunch of the floating plants from this aquarium and this aquarium out oh this is why yeah took some out from here as well clean this looking pretty good just waiting on the water to clear up and then this i didn't clean perfectly i think i'm gonna just let it be for now i forgot i missed some spots on the edge here this aquarium is hard to clean just because of the way it's designed but i think it's looking pretty good not too shabby and once these um plants grow i'm gonna sell them like once i get like a good amount of them growing i'm gonna sell them and stuff like that and then again this aquarium here is looking pretty freaking amazing i'm going to see if i can show you guys close my curtains one more time but it is looking good again in person it just looks so much better oh my my thingamajigger fell down there so i need to fix that but um yeah and then the bottom i'm gonna add one of my other lights over here just so that i can actually see the fish and it looks much better i do have my lights over there so i'm gonna add that to underneath here i think something is wrong with this light it just does not seem to be working that great. I don't know. I fixed this thing, fixed the power head so that I can blow some more. Um, well, never really fixed it, cleaned it out. That's pretty much it. Everything's looking good here. It, it looks much better in person. It's just hard to see with a camera with this type of lighting because it's a blue light. Not the. It doesn't pick up the very <clears throat> best quality of the aquarium when I have it set to blue light. So. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of space here. I think in the future what I might do is I might just order a whole bunch of dry rock, I think. And throw out all my live rock or let it dry out for a while. And then put it back in because I know there's a little bit of, um, little bit of, uh, still some aptasia on some of these rocks, which I am not a huge fan of. You can see my, whatever, this guy is here. And, um, Yeah. I gotta remember to flip this one over and fix it a little so that it can look nice. You guys see how beautiful it looks? It's nice and clear now. It just looks amazing. Again, I don't think I like the decorations here, so I'm probably gonna move them somewhere else. There's my cat. So I'm probably gonna move these elsewhere. I think I'm gonna move these three pieces, the two on the side and the plant back in the middle here, and then move this to the corner over here. I think I'll move this behind over there, behind the castle. I think that would be kind of cool. I like this plant. I just wish my aquarium was taller so that I wouldn't go around like this all over the place. Um, I don't want to cut it because if I ever get a bigger aquarium and maybe one that's taller, you know, that would not be a good idea. So, I think it's looking pretty great. What do you want? What? I put his medication on his back for the fleas. You're a beautiful boy, and I gave him a bath when I picked him up from the when from the vet that he was boarding at. Hi, hi, Auntie. What? Really? So how are you 
feel? Yeah? It's so beautiful. Okay, so I just scrubbed the aquarium a little bit, just the glass here. And this is what it's looking like. Um, just a couple of life plants. I need to take that out. That's actually all the in food. Take that out from when I was on vacation. Um, whoops. Yeah, take that out. But I think overall, in general, this aquarium is looking pretty good, if I can say so myself. Yes, it's definitely looking well. Good. So, Hold on. Yeah. This tank is looking good. This guy needs some help. I'm going to put some medicine for him. And everything else here is looking good, I guess. I legit thought this fish was missing, but nope. He is alive still, so thank God. I'm so happy. They were kind of moving some of the sand over there, so I don't know if they're going to spawn these two or what. But it's a matter of time. I do want to get one of these guys for him so he has a friend of his own. I think he would like that, and they would both probably love this coral right here. Because the, the skunk clownfish um wherever he just went to go hide he loves this thing i've got my starfish over there so yeah and i want to buy some dry rock to put here hey zussie what's up Hi. are you browsing the neighbors so yeah this is just my aquariums here um again everything's looking good this tank is good too, it's just, could use a little bit of cleanup on the edges here, but I'm just going to let it be, because it's just a lot of work. And I don't feel like cleaning it right now. And then again, this tank's looking fantastic. And this tank too. So I guess that's it for these fishes here. They're looking good. This guy's really, really pretty. I love his colors on him. I would love to try to breed them someday, but I think... For now, since I don't have an aquarium, extra aquarium, plus uh, I don't have the proper food for it, for baby fish, I'm just going to let it be. Anyways, I'm going to go lay down for a little bit because it's hot and sit in front of this fan and I just want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. So you guys can see this rock has pretty much dried out. I let it out for at least like two days. It might be too soon to put it back in the aquarium, but... I think it'll be okay. I don't see anything live on here anymore, but the Aptasia could always return. You can see right here that it's one of the Aptasia that has dried out. And yeah, if you just look in here, you can see like a lot of things on this rock. Anyways, this rock was here and this side of the aquarium. Let me close my hands for a second on that side of the aquarium so I think what I'm gonna do is put it back in because I don't want it to completely dry out I just want it to dry out to the point where the most of the aptasia was gone so I'm gonna grab this guy and put him back in there hopefully that'll help with the problem for a bit um yeah let me put him back See, in over here I did add the rock back so yeah again my camera does not do it justice, but added the rock back, so hopefully it'll do okay. And I separated it from this guy because I think that's how some of the Aptasia go on there easier. Again, Aptasia can go anywhere basically, but you know what I mean. So, yeah. Um, gosh, the glass gets so freaking dirty. I need to get one of those magnet cleaners so I can keep up with cleaning it and stuff. But I think it's looking pretty good. Oh, and I also moved my Zoa a little bit more towards here. And I touched it with my bare hands, hopefully I do not get sick. I'm not recommended to do that. And it looks like the clownfish are doing something in the corner over there. But anyways, yeah. That's that. Hey guys, so first of all, what I just want to say, don't mind the hair. I'm going to be looking ratchet as hell hair-wise. Because, like I said, I'm trying not to touch my hair or straighten my hair or do anything to damage it. I'm trying to bring it back to life, I guess. So this is why my hair be looking crazy because you can see it's so short on the sides and then the back is like a little bit long my hair is just a crazy mess since you know i bleached it so i'm gonna be looking a little bit oops sorry a little bit not the greatest in the next few videos but just letting you know i'm gonna be trying to keep my hair natural and i used to have like really pretty curls and things it's just i fucked it up so yeah i just wanted to grow back longer so that means not touching it and not messing with it anyways um 
yeah, that's about it. Anyways, uh, I keep saying anyways like 50 million times. I just wanted to give a little outro, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.